Hello, my name is Emily and I am a chef, a mom, and a registered dietitian and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about how to eat healthy when you don't have a lot of time through using convenience items. Now when I'm talking about convenience items, what I'm talking about is anything that is like pre-prepped before you buy it, like a prepared salad or frozen vegetables. Now there are pluses and minuses to using convenience items. Some of the really great things about them are for one, it saves you time, it saves you energy, and it saves you dishes. Can I get a hallelujah for that? Okay. Convenience items can also help you eat healthier. I mean, if you don't have the time to be like cutting up all your fruits and vegetables, which let's be honest, if you are also a mom, you know that there is very, very little time in the day. And even if you're not, I mean, we're all busy. So if you don't have the time to be cutting up all your fruits and vegetables, just buying them pre-cut can help you get them into your diet without the excuse of like, I don't have time for that. Another thing is that it can help you explore some flavors that you might not have even thought about before. Like if there's like a curry cauliflower dish in the frozen section or a salad that's got like a bourbon and bacon maple flavor. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> um, but you know, it's we tend to get into this routine of eating the foods that we like and forget that there are like other flavors out there. And so grabbing these can help you explore some new and different flavors. So there are some downsides to using convenience products. A big one is they use a lot of plastic, a lot of single use plastic. And sometimes things are double packaged. Like that's uh, my dishwasher. Hold on. It's like a really long song. Got one more thing. If reducing your use of single use plastic is something that's very important to you what i would recommend is just trying to do that elsewhere maybe like trying to recycle more or not using um, plastic grocery bags bringing your own bags to offset the increased plastic that you're using through convenience products and then the other big issue the one that i know that's probably on your mind is price convenience products do tend to be higher than like their whole form like a carton of cut fruit is more expensive than just buying the fruit itself. But if your options are to either buy these convenience products at the grocery store and cook and have your foods at home, or go out to eat, go through the drive-through, get takeout, then the convenience products are still likely cheaper. So if cost is something that you're worried about, just pick some of the lower cost convenience items like your pre-done up rice, like the five minute boil in a bag rice, or some canned vegetables and honestly frozen vegetables tend to be around the same price as the fresh ones anyways and they last longer so you're reducing your food waste and the last negative that comes along with convenience products is sometimes they have added salt added sugar that we don't want in our diet but you can avoid that just from a quick reading of the label to see what's in there so these foods can be used in a variety of ways whether it's just one element of your meal, maybe you get the five minute boil in a bag of rice to go alongside with the rest of your made from scratch meal, or it could be your whole entire meal or snack comes from convenience products. Either way, it's fine. It's just about what works for you in that day, in your lifestyle, how busy you are, what kind of foods you wanna eat. It's all individualized. No shame in making a freezer meal because we're all busy. I know we can kind of get in that mindset of like, I could just do that myself. Why would I pay $5 for a pre-cut watermelon where I can get the whole watermelon for like $2? That's really cheap. They're like $5. But anyways, you're getting more. You can cut it yourself. Of course, that is true. But am I really going to be able to prep this food? Because if the answer is probably not, then you're better off just spending the extra dollar, get the convenience item, and don't waste that food by letting it sit in your fridge and go bad. And you know what? I know some of us are out here like wanting to cook everything from scratch so that our kids learn to cook so that they have like made from scratch meals. And that's definitely important. And if that's something that you value. And I think that there's always a time and place for that. Like maybe there's a certain dinner each night of the week that you cook with your kids where you're teaching them how to use a knife, teaching them how to cook on the stove or in the oven. That's great, but it doesn't mean you have to do it every night. Showing them how to balance like busyness and still eat like a well-balanced diet that's really really important to teach too i want to talk about 
what makes a balanced meal because before we can decide what products to incorporate into our meal plans we need to know what makes a balanced meal so a balanced meal will typically have like your three main macronutrients it will have carbs fats and protein so with that it's always great to make sure that your carbs are coming from a whole grain source that your fats are most of the time coming from a plant source because those tend to be our healthier fats and that your protein is there present in your meal but not overwhelming your meal and then the most important part of a balanced meal is trying to make at least half of your plate fruits or vegetables that is a big place where convenience items come into play because fruits and vegetables can be very very prep heavy and just grabbing that bag of frozen broccoli throwing it in the microwave can make your life so much easier side note if every meal isn't perfectly balanced that's a-okay just aim for a balanced diet as much as you can and don't restrict any foods or be like ah my meal wasn't balanced i'm going to gain a ton of weight that's not true if you just have macaroni and cheese at a meal that's fine maybe try to include a salad with the next one it's okay and the same thing kind of goes for snacks um try to include protein fiber healthy fats stuff that's really going to fill you up make you feel good energized and ready to take on the day that was so lame i'm such a mom okay I just got back from the store so I want to show you some of the things that I picked up so that maybe you can get ideas on some meals you might want to try or some products you might want to try. Also Bobby's here now so sorry if she screams. <laughs> Hi. So the first thing that I grabbed is this little snack pack um, that I might use for a breakfast. It's got some apples, cheese, and pretzels in it. Um, but. I wouldn't just have this on its own. I would likely add some nuts or some nut butter because this is only 180 calories, which is not enough for a meal. You really want to look for like 350 to 5 or 600 for a meal. Um, and it's also a lot higher in carbohydrates than it is fats and protein. And nuts are a great source of healthy fat. And they also have some protein. So next, I have a few lunch ideas. I love getting these like pre-bagged up salads because they are really yummy and so easy. I usually top them with like some veggie burger just to get in some extra protein. I also picked up some pre-made sushi. Um, it's got lots of veggies, protein, and this one has adequate carbs because it's wrapped in rice. This one is definitely less carbohydrates. I'll probably eat them together though. And then at dinner number one, I got some cod with some rice and I got two kinds of rice, one that's flavored and one that isn't, just to try and help cut down the sodium that's gonna be in your flavored rice. Plus it only makes two servings and we're gonna need four, so works out perfectly. And a thing of frozen broccoli and cauliflower. And this is what we're going to be having for tonight's dinner. How easy is this? Already made up chicken. Um, I'm going to be doing it with some veggie tots and veggie fries. And this is actually my carbohydrate for the meal. Um, Cause even though it's got vegetables in it, it is still mostly carbohydrate. I just thought it'd be fun to try some different flavors. Also going to be having some baked beans, which is kind of my vegetable. Of course, those still have carbs and protein in them too. But I'm gonna be cutting the beans with a little bit of bell peppers. Um, by cutting, I mean like adding the bell peppers in to cut down on the sugar and sodium in there because they are a little bit higher in those. I'm gonna be honest with you, my grocery bill is definitely higher this time than it normally is. Um, I was buying all convenience products. But if you're doing a nice mix where you're either prepping some of the meal or prepping and cooking from scratch some meals and doing convenience meals for other meals, it's not gonna be that much more expensive. And like I said before, still cheaper than going to a restaurant or getting takeout. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you are able to try out some convenience products that you maybe learned a little bit about how to build a better plate. And give this video a thumbs up if you found some value in what I was talking about today. And subscribe for more content like this. And of course, comment down below if you have any questions you would like me to answer, any issues you'd like me to address on this channel. I've also linked my private Facebook group down below that I am inviting you to join. You should definitely check it out. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.